Hi everybody, it's Pete, Mind Wise Man's channel, aka Maverick Outdoors, and uh, I'd like to do another gratitude video for a gift that was sent to me by one of my subscribers, but um, I'll tell you a little bit of a story behind it. It's now September 2012, and about 12 months ago, uh, 2011, I got um, a sort of message uh, from someone on YouTube saying would I watch their first video on their wild camp. Um, so they sent me the link and I watched it. And it was a guy who'd um, been watching some videos on YouTube, me being one of them, um, another person being, I won't say their name because this is if I'm trying to compare myself to them and I don't compare myself to anyone, I'm, I'm just who I am, uh, but a very famous person who's uh, an outdoor pursuit expert and um, another well-established um, bushcrafter who puts a lot of stuff on YouTube. Anyway, so between three of us, this particular person, as I say, who sent me this gift, um, was making this video for his first wild camp and he name dropped to me and said about mind wise man and said a few things about me and um, so I thought great you know if it's motivated him to get out then uh, all, all well and good you know so I watched his video and uh, we sent some sort of comments to each other uh, saying you know great you know it's good that you're getting out um, but when I say this guy's name in a moment so I'm just telling you a little bit of a story behind it um, a lot of you must really know he's got a health problem and uh, he's slowly losing his ability to hear. So I thought it was quite, uh, quite moving really that uh, you know, he said he wanted, he just sort of discovered the outdoors again, although he's a bit of an outdoors person himself, but actually getting to wild camping, starting to get his kit, getting knowledgeable, that sort of thing. Um, but he wanted to save the outdoors and while he's hearing, he's, he's still able to hear, is to hear the sounds of nature, you know, birds and all that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, so that, that sort of struck a chord with me quite quite a lot. So, anyway, the past 12 months he's been honing his skills. Well, some of you are known as a bit of a radio ham, CB, Citizens Band, Radio and Morse Code. Apparently an expert in Morse Code. I've seen a couple of his videos and it was like, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. It's like, hang on a minute, I think tap dancing would be a bit easier than doing Morse Code. But, um, yeah, he's honed his skills and some of you might have seen him actually outdoors uh, with other bushcrafters recently. So, you know, again, he messaged me to say that, you know, watching some of my stuff besides others had inspired him to get outside and do bushcrafting skills and learn lots of stuff. And as I say, which some of you will have come across. Um, so before I say his name, he makes, he's just started uh, the craft of knife making, Jack Law Blades, and his name is Sandy. And um, anyway, the gift that he sent me is, is a little bit more than just the actual item. It, it's the sort of story behind it and what the actual item symbolises. But I'll show you what he sent me. I received this just over a month ago now. Obviously it came in the, the GIF bag, which of course I already opened. With a letter, a little bit of spec behind it saying that, you know, he's trying to develop his craft. And this is sort of like a, a second type of prototype. I mean, and when I show you this, I mean, if this is a second type of prototype and this, his skills are getting even better. As I'd mentioned to him, um, you know, sort of messaging him and sort of saying from little acorns, you know, little acorns, oak trees grow. So from his, his endeavour to sort of start making knives and being a bit of a passion and also it being sort of relevant to um, his work circumstances because his work is starting to change whereby uh, there might be less of it. So he's had to make a, make a critical decision and maybe use um, a skill that I think he's had in the past to actually redevelop it and expand it even further and uh, try and make a sort of a working living career out of it really. So, um, and this is what it sort of symbolises for me as well. As you can see, it's a handmade leather sheath that he made himself. Again, it's a prototype, very strong, really nice and rustic, hold the end. And that knife ain't coming out. I'll even get the end here and sort of flick it and that sort of momentum would make it even easier for the knife to come out. So it's not going anywhere. But I'll actually show you the knife and de-sheath it. The Jack Law. But it's all handcrafted. with a leather sheath 
really nice and sort of firm and solid. So that's going to take quite a bit of battering, or be able to, shall I say. <laughs> I'm going to bang it. Well, there you go, look. That's how sort of solid it is. You can hear the echo from the void inside. So that's the sheath. Nice um, loop for the average belt and maybe wider belts as well or if you want to put a sort of a, your own device, your carabiner or a loop so it doesn't actually have to fasten through that, it can still be used for the same. So that's the sheath, I like the colour of it as well, it's sort of a dark rose woody type colour which is really nice. He's, um, I think he's made about a dozen of them, so the first ones were prototypes that he sent out and he sort of uh, sent me this one which is what I would suppose called stage two and um, the metal was actually tested by someone else who he'd sent a knife to who works in some or is connected to a laboratory and the metal was tested. I know Sandy can maybe give you a little bit more spec on it um, but the type of metal um, it holds an edge it's not liable to crack or split easy to sharp easy to hone but actually will keep its edge so all well and good the blade was was covered in um, cling film and uh, so it came in the gif bag and i did give it the old paper test and believe me that is razor oh ah, oh no, i'm kidding <laughs> that's razor sharp um, but i will be doing a field test on this very soon but it's got a really nice feel to it um, you know it sort of feels solid but it's not bulky solid and you can see the shape of the handle sort of grips just the sort of thickness of it is just right to get the roundedness that your hand actually naturally makes so the sort of ergonom ergonomic type of if you want to call it shape of the handle uh, for point work real multi-use So, there's the Jack Law, made by Sandy. I received another message from him actually just a few days ago to say that um, you know he's developing the skills even more. Uh, there's even going to be a better quality to it. I mean, that's a good enough quality for someone that's just started out um, with a skill that I think he had sort of before, but not really developed it or, or taken it to the point he is now, and to sort of try and make it in line for a career. So really, in a nutshell, um, the sort of knife, really this, symbolises more than just a handmade knife. It symbolises a story that, that I sort of knew about from a year ago, from a man that sort of coming to the great outdoors, bushcrafting and, and just enjoying nature and, and, you know, being part of it. And then from that, uh, he's making a total career change um, because of his work so circumstances are changing so this really sort of knife is, is say is more than just a sort of a handmade knife for someone that's going to try and give it a go and but it's sort of a bit of a story behind it so um, that's that's what this jack law means to me and of course you know what us out outdoorsy bushies are like um, all sort of new toys we sort of love really well, a collection of bits and bobs, but as I've said before, they're not toys, they're very important implements which should be used with responsibility. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, so I'll finish off there by saying thanks, Sadie, really appreciate it. Uh, I wish you all the best with the future with the Jack Law knives. So, really, the Jack Law knife to me symbolizes a, a man's personal journey from um, especially his circumstances. You know, he's, um, he's had some health problems over the past sort of few recent years. Um, and it's a bit unpredictable and obviously it's cause for concern but if you can get your, a sense of well-being by having a sense of purpose and doing something that's, that's close to your heart like doing things like um, anything from the outdoors bushcrafting to actually trying to make a career out of something that's li linked to bushcrafting wild camping and and self-sufficiency outdoors then you know it's got to be a good thing so um, I just like to say again thanks to Sandy really appreciate it And here we are again, a sheathed, secure and safe jack law knife. So thanks again for watching guys and girls and I'll catch up with you in another video soon. Cheers. Hi everybody, it's Pete, Mind Wise Man's channel aka Maverick Outdoors and uh, today I'd like to do another grab- <coughs> another 
Gra <laughs> Another gra- <laughs>